Yo, what is up guys, Shard here, coach of Bayern Munich, and welcome to week one of a new league, uh, as well as draft analysis. This is the uh, the meme, the M-E-M-E, -M -E, uh, my Evelyn's meetup, meetup of extraordinariness, uh, as you can probably tell by name, founded by Evelyn, uh, H2O Drink It, and uh, she was like on Twitter, I was like, hey, who wants to join a league? And she put a thing where you can sign up, and I sign up, and everything is great. So, um, this league is very much based on the PPL, I say very much, it's just the PPL. Uh, in rules and whatnot, except for the fact that you get one free meme pick, so one Pokemon is worth one point uh, or one mil, depending on how you say it, see it. Um, so yeah, uh, a lot of people in the league are new to the format entirely. Some people that you might know are uh, Omega Jolteon, Raikwin of course, uh, Evelyn, H2 Drink It, Pippo, uh, Chido Gaming Hub, we have um, Carson, Toxic Gaming, that's this fucking normal name, uh, as well as our week one opponent, Ethan, and his Miami, Miami Rhythm Heat, uh, Rathamus. You should remember him from PPL Season 2, one of my best friends in the community. Uh, and yeah, so let's just go over what I drafted real quick, or we do, uh, because I can't be fucked to like do this in like, a proper video. So first up, I wanted Vitini, that got taken right before me, so I was very upset, and I was like, okay, let's get one of the few Megas that I still want to use in the, uh, in the draft league matter. So I got Mega God of War, I want to try that thing out, see how I go with it. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't have gotten this with Vitini. With Vitini, I probably would have gone Mega Altaria, as I only got to use it for like, I think four games in the ETA. So, kind of want to do that. But you know, uh, Mega Altaria was a really cool mod that I've been meaning to use for ages. Uh, hopefully, gonna you know throw out some fat guards and make Gypsy proud, <laughs> and um, you know, just a fucking monster and a fat support mod as well if necessary, and just you know a beast. Then I got uh, Weevil because Weevil is cool. I never really used it. I had an NPT tournament way back, but it doesn't really count. So you know. Um, yeah, Weevil is cool, It's not much to say. Then uh, I wanted a good steel tap, and there aren't many that I like, so I went for the, the classic gentleman's round 3 Metagross. Um, I just wanted to secure the steel tap, really. Um, you know, there are two second types here, but that's not really a problem, uh, as I have like the scary stuff to on my side, so, you know. So I'll find Dandy. Uh, Metagross is a mod that could use it a little bit in GPC, but I want to use it more. And it's actually one of my 3 Z-move users, uh, just like the PPL, your 3 Z-move users want to support and offensive and the other two are just offensive. This is just one of the offensive ones, as they felt like uh, a rock polish or agility set, depending on which one you prefer, even though they make this do this exact same thing. Um, it's a lot scarier with a Z-move attached. Uh, after looking through the matchups that I have in the season, I was like, yeah, Metagross does look better. So I'm with that, you know. Um, and yeah, then I got Dragonite, uh, Paragore, this is Mirajan Fairy Tales, this is Fire Island because Nyx was Sneasel, so I was like, let's go with the OG one that's bigger and better, and called Tharja. Then we have Gaji, that's a combination of Gajil from Fairy Tale and my buddy Nawit, who is like fucking obsessed with Monogross for some reason. I guess he had some points on porn when he was young, and he was like, yeah, this is my new favorite Pokemon. I don't know. Uh, and then we have Dragonite, which is a complicated nickname. There was like a combination of three people that worked on a show with a dragon, and it's just. Doesn't matter, it's not important. But yeah, Dragonite's obviously another Z move user. The thing is an absolute one, so I always want to use it, but now with Z moves, it's actually worth using. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, Dragonite is super duper fun. Round 4 Dragonite for I think only 14 points, which is criminally underpriced, honestly, in the PPL. I was like, yeah, let's just do that and have fun with it. I've never used Dragonite, I love I love the Pokemon, one of my favorites, so it should be fun. Uh, I think a Dawn fan for hazard removal uh, and Rocks Ruta because. Um, uh, Zelda, Breath of the Wild, one of the thingies that I'm not going to spoil in case anyone hasn't played the game yet. Um, <laughs> yeah, Dawn Fan's cool, Rocks has been good, ridiculous actually, ridiculously good offensive move pool. I was considering making this a Z-move user, but you know, I like Breath of the a little bit more. And yeah, Dawn Fan's cool. And then we have Haley the Blissey, uh, yeah, I drafted Blissey because I'm a piece of shit. I was like, let's get a fat core. I have priority spam out the fucking wazoo. Um, so I was like, let's get Blissey. Um, I wanted to go with the fat core of Blissey and Kofagus, which as you can see I got, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, Blissey is called Haley because I googled ignorance and one of the first things that came up was the uh, Paramore song. So like, sure, let's name it after Haley Williams, because she's cool. Um, yeah, Blissey is a cool support mod, it's fat as fuck and it's gonna piss people off. Then I have Kofag, uh, you know, I called Noya because look at those fucking hands, this has to be mine on Noya. And I, have, and I pretty much have to have a Pokemon named after a player every season. <laughs> um, yeah, nice Toxic Spiker, which is really, really nice with this team. This team absolutely loves Toxic Spike. Oh my lord. Um, and with, like, more passive defensive core, uh, um, I usually don't like that. But with the uh, offense that I have and the priority spam that I have, I think I'm fine. Um, because, like, 
you know, things might set up, but I didn't have like four priorities in the back, and it's like, whatever. <laughs> so, this core is gross, and I love it. Like, setting up T Spikes with Kofak, and then just like passing wishes into it with, uh, with Blissey, and just like keeping these two healthy with T Spikes up is just gonna be super fun. Uh, then I was like, I kind of reach a dark types, I want a water type and stuff, and Polygrass is a really cool guy that I haven't used in a while. Um, Kofak had an SCL, Blissey obviously never had his own, usually like it. Uh, and Polyrath is a cool guy, I like it. Um, gives me a potential offensive threat, gives me a defensive monster, honestly, really good defensive typing. It's basically, you know, it's the same typing as Caldea, which can do a lot of fun stuff as defensive mon, and is just defensively just a little better. It has Polyrath, I can also run like a bulk upside or whatnot, I can run Belly Drum, I can run Rain Dance, just try to sweep people with that, even though it's never gonna work. Um, and yeah, I was like, okay, let's get more hazard removal, and I was like, Cryogonal is cool, let's get Cryogonal. So it's Delioro, it's the same name as, as my Glady, because fucking whatever. Um, yeah, Glady is cool, I have Ice Spam, Glady and Weaver. Uh, Glady? Fucking Cryogonal and Weaver, so that's cool. Um, also gives me nice speed here, 105, and all that stuff, which I also needed, so, you know, Cryogonal is there. And then I got uh, Electivire. Wheeler, shout out to uh, Steve Magnitude for that name because it's like so underwhelming, but like it's so cool. You, you still love it. Um, yeah, it's I like the way it's cool. It's uh, my my last Z move user, my my super Z move user, as it can run Z electric terrain and go fast and kill things, or just you know power up things like fire punch, ice punch, flamethrower, brick break, or cross shot brother, that kind of stuff. So yeah. Evo is cool, gives me electric type, gives me some more momentum options, and it's fun. And I was like, okay, do I want a, um, what was it, a fire type, or do I want to not lose to ground types and, like, have, like, Zygarde, more importantly, most importantly, uh, and, like, get actual resist. So I was like, let's get an actual resist, get Lee Vanny, uh, you know, a nice quad resist, nice sticky web, nice Tom Pass user as well, nice SD sweeper if I really want to go that route, uh, with chlorophylls. So I have a little, little weather going on here. Um, yeah, Lee is cool, I like it. Uh, I always want to use it some point to do something with it. It isn't just secure, but let's be real. I probably just have secure with it. And then uh, I had the one point for the meme pick. I obviously went with Diglett, the best meme around, because I can trap things and it's gonna be great, because my team doesn't love steel types that much, so I figured, you know, let's throw in a little Diglett. Uh, Ruffler, of course, was two points, because it's too good to be a one point meme pick, obviously. So, couldn't do that, but you know, I got Diglett, and yeah. So that's that. My throat really hurts, I'm still sick, but I'm still recording video because I'm a fucking idiot. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, so let's get into our week one matchup. Uh, I hopefully will remember to put the team on screen. If I don't, then unfortunate. So, as I said, we play Ethan Erasmus week one, my Rodham Heat. Please check him out in the description below. He's a lovely guy. He will upload again when he has time. I can assure you that. He's a great person. One of my, favorite, one of my best friends in the community. Uh, and just a great guy. And he drafted with a little help of mine, even though I was like right after him in draft. I was 10th, by the way. I was number fucking 10. So. He was right before me. Uh, he picked Megalodios, Nihilego, Ducktree, and Lucario, which are his three Z-move users. Ducktree, of course, being the support one because Memento. Um, Togekiss, Seismitoad, Superior, Sneasel, Taurus, Duskull, and then Rattata as his meme. So, that's cool. Um, super scary, super offensive, but uh, with some flaws that we're going to try to use. Uh, his C-type is Lucario, so, you know. I can kind of see where I'm going with this. So first thing is uh, Tharja the Weaver, Choice Band, Pressure, Ice Crash, Ice Shot, Knock Off, and Brick Break. Uh, brick Break over Knock Off, uh, over Low Kick, sorry. Because I think it does more to Sneasel. No, not Sneasel. It dies anyway. More to Lucario. Uh, and more importantly, um, it kills both of them anyway. And gives me an option of punching of dual screens or something. If he brings that, he has like, I think, three dual screens users. So, you know, if he does that, I can uh, Brick Break that. And get rid of that, which would be really cool. So yeah, uh, his ice resist are sneezed on Lucario, so it's like Ben Weaver, just go in and get a kill essentially, my boy. And that's hopefully what's gonna do. Uh, speed's the entire team, because his fastest thing is Dougie, and that's just that's just a fun time for me, isn't it? Um, yeah, not much to say. It's just Weaver. It's gonna click ice moves and kill things essentially. <laughs> uh, next up, as I said, his steel type is uh, a Lucario, so a Mega God was coming with uh, Hyper Voice, Side Shock, Wish Protect. Uh, 160 HP, 252 defense, 96 speed. Ultimate nature uh, speed is for Togekiss, uh, as well as I think Adam Lucario. I can speed that too, so that's cool. Um, I didn't bother going for like a Jolly or Plus Speed Nature Lucario because I'm pretty sure he's bringing Bull Punch anyway, so there's no point. Um, so yeah, uh, Hyper Voice, Side Shock, Witch Protect, pretty standard. Uh, the defense method allows me to not get too killed by Duck Trio, I'm pretty sure, that was the plan. So I can just uh, not get trapped super duper easily and potentially wish up later on. Something like Seismitoad, something like Togekiss even. Um, and 
that's pretty much it. Yeah, those two. <laughs> so it brings those I can wish up on them. Uh, even maybe superior, honestly, because I'm like super fat, so I can wish up on that if it hasn't boosted too much yet. So that's cool. Um, yeah, God of War is just gonna like plow holes through his team. I think his answer is gonna be Tor, because I could could have ran a different set, but you know. Um, probably should have only brought Calm Mind and Oversight Shock, because Nihil Lego is not coming when I have a Metagross and a Blissey. So, and a Diglett, of course. <laughs> I know, whatever. Um, yeah, then we have uh, Gajit to Metagross with the Shed Shell because Doggy is scary. Clear Body, ma uh, Mio Mashable, Punch Earthquake, Stealth Rock, 28 HP, 108 Attack, Adamant, 72 Special Defense, and uh, 48 Speed. Speed is just to Speed Creep, Seism Toad, just in case, as well as, I think, no, not Togus, it's not enough Togus. It's just Seism Toad. Um, so I can hit up with an Earthquake if it's weakened and stuff. Uh, rocks, because Rocks are good. Um, me match BP. BP is nice for things like Sneasel, because Sneasel is actually a pretty big threat to my team if you look at it. I only have Polyrath right now. Um, so yeah, I want BP, just general. If things get out of hand, like Megalodios, I can BP them. Uh, Spadef investment and HP investment, I think, was for Megalodi Shadow Ball or something. Um, I honestly don't remember. It's been ages since I built this team. But yeah, Metagross is a cool guy. That's, that's all I have. <laughs> Now we have Bradley the second to Polyrath with the Rocky on the water absorbs called Vacuum with Toxic Circle Throw, just max defense. Um, this is my answer to Lucario, this is my answer to Sneasel, uh, because otherwise I just straight lose to Sneasel with this team I have. Not straight lose, but like it comes in and gets a kill depending on what I am with in with. Um, not that it like threatens too much, actually 1v1, because I got over 1v1 most of the time and it says Iron Tail. Uh, Weavile, if I'm not locked yet, I can just brick break it. Um, Metagross BPs and kills it. Uh, Blissey beats it 1v1. I think. I think. Uh, I could be wrong there. But uh, and Dragonite has E-Feed for it, as you will see. So, you know, not that bad, but still, I want to have a switch in. And this is just a super duper safe switch in. With the Rocky Helmet, I could turn damage off, break a potential Sash, which is super duper helpful for my Dragonite later on. Um, and yeah, Toxic is cool because I can Toxic Toad because I can Toxic Seven Toad, which is really nice. And the Megalodios, of course. Circle Throw is just in case things get out of hand. Backing Wave for some priority. And then Scald for Scald. That's how that move works. Uh, then we have uh, Haley to Blissey with his debut. Seven Toast, Toxic Wish, Fire Blast, uh, just max defense set, you know, standard stuff. Uh, the Fire Blast is there for Lucario, of course, so I can do a ton of damage. I don't actually kill it because Blissey is weak, but I do like 70 80%, I think. So it only like 2 or 3 life or pits. Um, and then I'm fine, so I don't get like straight swept by it if it SDs on the Blizzy and I click Fire Blast. So, uh, that is if I hit, of course. Um, yeah, Toxic is cool for things like Megalodi uh, and Togek is more importantly. Uh, just in general, for everything, because Toxic is a good move. And Second Toast plus Wish is going to allow me to um, be annoying, weaken things, and keep my team healthy with the double Wish support that I'm bringing this week. Uh, mainly my Polyrath, that's the thing I want to definitely keep healthy with these two Wish users. Um, and yeah, and last but not least, this is the last match. I actually had Cry Cryogonal on this space, and I was like, he has two ice resists. I can bring Cryogonal. Also, removal is cool because Weaver is important. I was like, fuck that. He doesn't have anything for Dra Dragonite, so I'm bringing Dragonite. Uh, to fight Inyam Z, with Asuka, of course, Dragon Claw, Fly, E Speed, Dragon Dance, Max Attack, Adamant, 212 Speed, which allows me to speed that trio after a Dragon Dance. Um, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Um, I don't have Earthquake because I feel like E Speed is a lot more important, a lot more useful. Uh, for potential Scarfoss as well as um, just in case something gets out of hand. Of course, most importantly, the Sneasel. Uh, if my water scale is broken, I don't want to take an Ice Shard, so I can just kill when E Speed easily and win the game from there. Pretty much, hopefully, it's a plan. So, yeah, that's the team um, for week one of Meme. Uh, I just kind of like threw all these information at you of my draft and whatnot, but hopefully, uh, you could follow my thought process, even though I can't. Um, I'm going to pause and then we'll get into the game against Ethan for week 1. Okay, so here we are at the game against Ethan. And as you can see, he decided to bring Dutrio, Lucario, Megaladio, Silent Toad, Togekiss, and Sneasel. Nothing really surprising there. Um, like, Nihilego didn't come, which makes sense. Superior isn't there, which is nice. Um, Taurus isn't there, which is nice. I think Polyrath and Metagross was like my supposedly answer to that. I uh, didn't really have much. I had to, like, you know, revenge kill it mainly and get chip damage off with. Uh, on it with Polyrath, which can take like a Zenhepa to the face or something um, from a Shifu's variant. So that wouldn't be fun, but you know, uh, it's not there. Uh, Superior isn't there, which would be co which is cool because that could be a little annoying, though I don't. He didn't expect it because it's not. It doesn't have a great matchup. Um, doesn't have a bad one by any means. It's just not amazing. Um, so yeah, you could have brought that. I think these sticks all have more important uses on this team. So looking at the lead matchup, I feel like Polyrath is just a safe lead overall. 
uh, as there's nothing outside of Togekiss that and Megalodius of course. Uh, like I beat four of six months and the other two um, I can deal with. I can go into my Metagross hard on both of these or maybe even my God of War. So I'm not too too worried. Um, and so I'm just going with Polyrath. Uh, probably expecting to Cybertroid more than likely. So. Uh, let's see if that works. If my left wants to cooperate, and there we go. He doesn't use Cybertron. I don't have a grass move for my entire team, so I'm just gonna have uh, to toxic the thing turn one. So he goes for rocks, that's fine. I just get a toxic, uh, except I, I don't, I miss. So it's a good start to the leak, you know, I miss toxic, it's you know, do the usual. But unfortunately, I'm gonna throw up a toxic again as he goes for grass now, get some rocky da helmet damage off on himself. Does absolutely nothing to me because Poirot is a monster. Uh, and we have to think on a timer now, which is nice. So, uh, what we're gonna do now here is go into my Mega God of War and just Mega Evolve and get, you know, get a wish off into my uh, Poirot mainly, potentially, perhaps. Uh, but he goes into his focus, which is perfect. He could have. Could have also, of course, gone to Lottie there, so it was a perfect middle ground play. Uh, I'm just going to uh, taunt, turn, uh, taunt, protect turn one, as I kind of want to see what he has. Uh, maybe he has like T wave or something, I don't want to get T waved, honestly. So I just go for the air slash, so I, I figured I'm fine to just throw up a wish uh, as he goes for the air slash. It does nothing to me. I'm just going to fire over the hyper voice, get a crit, which is really nice. This has been this is a max spidef token, this is the most spidef token I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I feel like that's spidef. I think that's what it was, uh, been a while. So uh, yeah, go for another hyper voice. That does nothing, uh, as he's just gonna roost up. So, a uh, bit of a stalemate here, as he can't touch me, I can't him, etc. We could like PP stall here, but we're not going to, and I would win that easily because I have two attacking moves. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna protect here and get my thing back to full, and then on the following turn, go into my mana draws, as I don't have, I don't have reason to do this. Uh, I can keep my God of War at full health, and just go into my mana draws and threaten this team and get rocks. More importantly, so uh, go to Gajit. As he does just go for an air slash, he makes me think he doesn't have T-Wave uh, at this point. I'm very certain he doesn't, because he would have clicked that at some point at least. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna get my rocks here. See, he's a fucking man and just goes for Heber. If I click fucking Mia Match there, I think it would've been gone. Uh, but alas, I don't do that, uh, and he's just gonna switch out on the following turn. As I go for Mia Mash, in case he wants to like be super cheeky and like defog or something, I'm just not gonna have any of that and just fucking smash his face in, or mash his face in, in this case. Um, he doesn't toad, that is fully for death, that Mia Mash does absolutely nothing. Uh, that's good knowledge though, and I can just throw in my Blissey here as Hesmetod can't really do anything to Blissey as he's confirmed to be Fizz Death, uh, not like an offensive Drain Punch variant or anything of the sort, so, you know, that's fine. Uh, I can just go into Blissey here and just be an annoying bitch as Blissey does. So I'll throw up a Wish here turn 1 in case he wants to pull the switch into Lucario or Ductrio even, uh, like the hard switch. So, um, yeah, I'm fine there as he's just gonna keep hitting me. If he would've Burn me with Skull wouldn't have mattered because I obviously have natural cure. Uh, and now I go for Seven Toss. And I'm gonna pull the switch into. Am I gonna pull the switch? I don't remember. This, I just played. I literally just fucking played. Um, I think, yeah, Flower Blast on a wish, right. Because this will allow me to, uh, as he goes to Lucario, because Fire Blast wouldn't have killed it. would have been a cool play though if I did it. Uh, but I didn't want to reveal the Fire Blast just yet. Uh, so I didn't, you know, didn't want to click that in case Seven Toss stays in and it's like. He's hexed or whatever. He had no reason to do that. But he could also go to Togekiss there. So I didn't want to click. Uh, what's he? I guess he's one of or Lottie. Basically, he could have switched. So <laughs> didn't want to review Fire Blast just yet. I didn't feel like that wasn't the best play. So my second play was just throwing a wish. Uh, knowing Polyrath can take an adamant life up close combat from this range, even after Stealth Rocks, and just get back to full, pretty much. Um, yeah, I thought that was my safest play, so I'm just gonna throw a wish. As he goes, he makes a good play at pulling double into his Megalodius as I go into Polyrath, get my wish back, but he has Megalodius inside. Uh, and I figure my safest play is just going to God of War as it's not super important. Metagross just seems more useful than God of War. Uh, while it's nice to have God of War, it's not super important. So, uh, he turns out to be a Dragon Dance Megalodius, and this is scary, but thankfully, I'm a max, God, max defense God of War, so I should be able to take any hit. He goes for the Steel Wing, that doesn't kill me. I go for Hyper Voice, he dies. So Megalodius is dealt with. Um, he didn't expect me to be like max defense, which is nice for me. Um, so yeah, that 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 didn't kill me. So uh, he goes into Dougie. I'm just gonna uh, click Wish in case he wants to do something stupid like uh, sucker punch <laughs> uh, and knock the thing out. And now I'm going to my Weavile, and um, I could of course just click Icicle Crash and pretty much get a kill because Lucario uh, just takes like 60%. I think sneeze a little. Same thing with that, if not, it takes more plus rocks, so it probably would just almost die. Uh, but there's a chance that he might be Scarf Dougie. I don't think it's super duper likely, but it's definitely a possibility. So I figured, um, let's just play it safe because Earthquake has a chance to kill me if he's jolly, uh, and if he's adamant, I pretty much guarantee he kills me. So, or you know, very much in his favor, I think. Um, so I just click uh, the safe ice shot in case he is banded. So, you know, just, uh, Scarf, sorry. So I just make safe play. Uh, see you guys in the episode. So, 
It takes a clean 20%. Um, yeah, that's whatever. Still, uh, still physically defensive. But I'm going to go with Polyrath here because, for one, this thing can attach me. Two, there's a very good possibility he might pull double into his Lucario here. He doesn't, so that's, you know, that's okay. I would probably prefer that, honestly, but, you know. Uh, and again, I'm going to click Toxic if he goes some Tokus. I get Toxic off if he stays in. I get Toxic off. The only thing that doesn't get Toxic is a fucking Lucario, which I'm the counter to. So, um, yeah, get Toxic off on the Tokus, which is nice, even though it has revealed here well. Uh, at this point, still nice, and I'm just gonna make the switch into Metagross Elite every time he has. Probably, probably doesn't have Flamethrower if he does. If he does have it, I can take one, and you know, depending on how much it does, it can BP him or just me a match. So as I find any, now I'm gonna make the play and go for Earthquake. As Slipshot is in range for two Earthquakes, not necessarily for Meteor Mash plus Earthquake because he does have leftovers. I think there would be a roll heavily in his favor, so I'm not gonna take that risk. I just clicked Earthquake twice, uh, as. I have speed. I have speed investment. I know he's. Fu he has to be fully for his death because like that did nothing. Uh, according to guys, he has to be like max defense. He can't have enough speed investment to speed this. So uh, I'm gonna take earthquake again. Plus the fact I can live in earth power because I'm a um, I'm a gross, He's have toad. You know he's not invest invested. Pretty sure I can take one. So I'm just gonna click earthquake again as he pulls a double into his Lucario expecting my blissey, and he gets pedonked. So. Unfortunate uh, for him, very fortunate for me. So he, uh, you know, tries to go aggressive there, expecting me to be slower and like switch out, but um, didn't work out for him. Um, yeah, I'm, no, I'm not complaining. Um, I haven't set a play. I don't think it was his best play, um, but I think he should just sack Seven Toad there because like it was so low. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I definitely understand where he was coming from though. I think it does make sense. So, uh, Eagle Brings and Dougie think he can trap me. Alas, he cannot. I am Shad Shell and I can just go into my Blissey, as that's by far the most expendable member at this point. I don't need it for anything, really. Um, and I'm just gonna take two Earthquakes, revealing that he is adamant, um, and just gets two super high rolls here. Um, so, I'm gonna go for his Seven Toes and get damage off. This puts him in range for the Bull Punch from Metagross, more than likely, uh, as he's gonna knock out my Blissey. And that's fine. So, uh, he managed to kill Blissey. And what I can do now, though, uh, knowing that my Dragonite can take its Stone Edge, excuse me, from the thing, Jesus, even with Deathwork damage, even with the multi scale, uh, I just gonna Dragon Dance, because even if I, like, even if he kills me with Stone because like a crit or like a max roll for, or a high roll from an Adamant variant, uh, which I'm pretty sure he is, um, I can then just move Metagross, because Metagross kills this with a Bull Punch, it kills my uh, 7 from Rage it's at, beats, of course, the Tokus, and kills Sneasel with a Bull Punch. So, uh, you know, I just decided to go uh, uh, go into Dragonite and win with that. Cyber GD, and he switches, so he was actually a scuff um, Dragonite. So I just win here as he goes in Sneasel. Does this have like a fucking um, normal berry? It doesn't have the normal berry. I forgot what it's called. How did I forget that? Chilon berry. There you go. No, it doesn't. It dies to the E speed. Uh, he goes into Tokus. I can get to show off my Z move here. Go for the Super Sonic Sky Strike and knock out the Togekiss. Uh, hashtag Z, hashtag ban Z moves. Yeah, I already would have killed. Uh, as he goes in Doctor, I'm just gonna click the save ESP button in case he is scarfed. Which he, again, he was. Uh, so that thing goes down, and now he only has seven toad left. And just you know, for baller reasons, I'm gonna go for the fly and knock him out with that. If I hit, if I miss, then uh, he can potentially burn me with scald, and then I still kill him with a dragon claw or you know it's whatever. Um, yeah, just for the meme points. I'm gonna kill him with the fly, and that's the 4 0 victory in week one of the meme. So, uh, GG Ethan. That was uh, his first league game in over a year, I think. So, you know, uh, he did pretty well for that. Uh, he's getting back into it. I'm definitely gonna help him to get back to his uh, back to his groove, back into his groove, and back to his uh, you know former standard and stuff. But yeah, that's uh, week one. I should probably stop talking because my throat is fucking hurting like a bitch. Uh, but yeah, tell me think of the game, tell you think of the draft and the team that I built and all that stuff. And yeah, see you for week two, which will probably be up in sometime in the future because I'm lazy and it's probably going to take a while. I just have an off week for PPL now, so I can do this. Uh, but yeah, week two is going to be against Evelyn, the founder herself. Um, we played before on the channel as well, played in season two. You've seen that. Probably I had a I had a drank fine type then and that beat her. Let's see if we can do that again. You know. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, leave some notes. I will appreciate all three of those and hopefully see you guys next time. Goodbye.